Hello, in this video I am going to talk about my Organization for Brain Mapping 2024 Brain Hack project. This project was called Understanding fMRI and together with some volunteers we have created a GitHub repository where one can study the really deep parts of the fMRI signal. You can see that we have created a reading list together with some tasks to go through to understand the core parts of the fMRI signal. And our unique perspective in this project was to actually not just use some manuscripts or handbooks or textbooks to understand the fMRI signal, but use programming first. For instance, we have created a bunch of simulations. These are straightforward Python scripts that allows you to play with the core fMRI signal equations. For instance, here you are seeing that we are manipulating the T2 star decay or transversal decay equation. And rather than looking at the formulations and equations in a PDF, we are basically playing with the parameters and maybe reaching to an intuitive understanding of the T2 star uh, signal decay. Here you are seeing that a bit more advanced formulation of the fMRI signal with extra terms such as the T2 star extravascular, T2 star intravascular and cerebral blood volume. And these equations are very useful for when you are doing, for instance, layer fMRI and try to understand the signal there. Moving on in our educational material, we have also created a simulation that allows us to randomly create some complex space data. And complex space is very important to understand because even though we are most of the time looking at the magnitude part of our MRI signal, our data is living in a complex domain, which means that there might be some value actually to understand how the complex space here indicated as real and imaginary components, are converted into magnitude and phase and what type of signal distributions we encounter when we are at a high SNR or low SNR regime or when we change the variance of our created data. These are of course all coming from some very good papers and equations and so forth, but here we are first giving people to a way to understand it through, through programming. And if they want to read more on it, after playing around with the simulations, they have reading material attached to all these scripts. Uh, for instance, in this one is maybe a bit more advanced simulation where we are simulating a tube that is either aligning parallel or orthogonal to the main magnetic field, B0. And this has a lot of implications with regards to how the signal behaves and what the magnetic field disruptions are around this tube. And this tube is in most cases can be thought of a large uh, vein, for instance. Uh, in the last part of our project, we have even arrived to a very advanced way of doing fMRI, especially at ultra high fields. For instance, we have worked with the, the SSSI VASO protocol. And here you can see that we have implemented a couple of equations uh, to basically simulate the pulse sequence. Of course, it's a bit uh, hard to give the all details in this video, but it is just here to say that you can play around with some parameters and see the implications of the data that you are getting. So if you are planning to use, for instance, uh, SSSI VASO sequence for your own research, this might be a good place to start understanding what you would get by manipulating some of the parameters available in the protocol. Okay, so this is the end of it. And I was very happy to work with a very passionate and collaborative a bunch of people and volunteers in this project and I would like to thank all the contributions and I look forward to advance this set of materials further in the future brain hacks. Thank you.